Hey guys, it's Bree here. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So I actually thought about whether I wanted to make this video or not because I was honestly so annoyed. So I decided to just come on here, talk about the scammies. Yes, I'm not even gonna call it the Grammys right now. I'm calling it the scammies. I decided to come on here and talk about the scammy show last night talk about bts and just to kind of rant and talk about why bts didn't win the grammys and why i'm not surprised so before we get into this topic if you haven't already make sure to hit the subscribe button for more k-pop content and now let's get into it i'm saying i, I don't want to come down from your so last night the grammys premiered at 8 p.m eastern time if you follow k-pop at all i'm sure you know that last year it was announced that bts received a grammy nomination this was a huge deal because bts was basically continuing to break records by being the first k-pop act to ever be nominated for a grammy so obviously this was like a huge huge deal so the category that they were nominated for was best pop duo or group performance and the song was of course dynamite i'm sure if you guys have not been living under a rock if you like k-pop at all if you like bts you know that dynamite was a smash hit it has literally been playing everywhere if you ask me it was pretty much like the biggest song of the summer and fall it did extremely well on charts it was just a huge smash hit the other thing that made it really catch on internationally was the fact that it was in english so i wasn't really surprised at all that bts was nominated for dynamite but i was so excited because once once again, this was great for BTS and they were literally making history. So like I said last night, the Grammys were broadcasted and before the actual ceremony started, it got out that BTS did not win best pop group or duo performance. Instead, Lady Gaga and Ariana Grande secured the win with Rain On Me. Now let me tell you guys, I love both Lady Gaga and Ariana Grande. They are some of my favorite Western pop artists. I've seen Lady Gaga in concert once. I was literally blown away. I love both of them and they're amazing artists. But I was so, 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 so surprised when I saw that they beat BTS. Just because to me, Dynamite was huge. I do like the song Rain On Me. I'm sure that a lot of people liked it and that it did make some impact, but compared to BTS Dynamite's impact, I just, you just can't compare the two. So I was very, very surprised, but then again, I wasn't because once again, this is the Grammys. I saw a lot of BTS fans on Twitter expressing their disappointment, you know, saying like, how could this be? How could they snub BTS? But one thing I wanted to mention, if you guys don't already know, Grammy wins are not based on how well a song does on the charts. So obviously, Dynamite completely blew Lady Gaga and Ariana Grande out of the water when it comes to charts and how well they how well the song did internationally streams digital sales etc but unfortunately that's not how the Grammys work basically there is the recording academy it's a group of like I believe a few hundred people they are experts in the music industry you have experts for each genre of music so one person might be a rap expert the other one might be a pop expert etc and they vote on those genres of music so it's not like people streaming or listening to music have any effect on who wins a grammy it's basically a bunch of music experts that cast their vote and they decide who should win so based on that it does make sense that lady gaga and ariana grande would win i'm sure that these music experts probably don't even care about k-pop or bts because they just probably don't they're probably mo mostly american or western experts they just probably don't care about k-pop and to be honest with you i really really think that the Grammys are just using BTS for views. They kind of were forced to nominate them because the way it works is a song or an act has to be submitted to the Grammys and then the Recording Academy looks over all the submissions, grades them, reviews them, and then they're able to approve them for Grammy nominations. So when BTS's song Dynamite was submitted, they couldn't deny the fact that the song was huge, so they did approve it, but they didn't necessarily have to give them a win. And like I said, I think part of nominating BTS and bringing them on the Grammys to perform 
was off reviews. Because let's be real, nobody's really pressed about watching the Grammys. If anything, people just watch like a condensed version when it's over, or they just check on Twitter to see if their favorite artist wins. Nobody really wants to sit through a three and a half to four hour show. And we can see this last year, right? Last year, BTS was not nominated for a Grammy, but they did perform Old Town Road with Lil Nas X. If I remember correctly, their performance was towards the end of the show. So what better way to get everyone to watch the Grammys than to announce that BTS is performing, but then make them wait till the end. And that's what happened last year. And then this year, once again, we already knew going into watching the ceremony that BTS hadn't won, but BTS ARMY wanted to see the performance. And what did they do at the Grammys? They kept saying, oh, BTS is up next, BTS is up next, but it kept getting pushed back more and more. Other artists kept performing before them. And I think it was like three and a half hours in when BTS finally performed Dynamite. On top of that, they were hyping it up by playing BTS's Samsung Galaxy commercial during the commercial breaks, just hyping, hyping up fans for BTS. They definitely used BTS reviews guys they know that BTS is huge they know that BTS has like probably the biggest fan base in the world they know that BTS was the top global selling artist in 2020 beating out Taylor Swift so of course this is a great way to get a bunch of people who otherwise couldn't care less about the Grammys to tune in that's just my opinion it's really sad but I still think that the Grammys are very western centered they're probably a little bit xenophobic they don't really care about k-pop acts they don't really care about BTS but BTS is a great way to secure views. One thing that I thought was really sweet, when it came out that BTS hadn't won, a lot of BTS ARMY were expressing their disappointment on Twitter and the members of BTS did actually make posts on Weverse to kind of cheer everyone up and that is so like them. RM said something like, we didn't fail to win, we were nominated and got to perform the first time as the first Korean artist and I believe Yoongi also commented something like, we'll try again next year, it's okay. So at the end of the day, this is like my message to other armies. Yes, BTS didn't win, but does it really matter? We really shouldn't even care about the Grammys. We don't need the Grammys to validate that BTS is literally the biggest artist in the world right now. They are awesome. They know that they're awesome. They know that they're dominating charts, that they're like the best selling artists or they were last year. And they know they have probably the biggest fan base in the world. I'm sure BTS knows that even though they did not win a Grammy, they have still come so far. They're breaking records. And just the fact that they are the first K-pop act to be nominated for a Grammy and to perform at the Grammys, that alone is a huge success in itself. So all we can do is, you know, hope that they will win a Grammy in the future. There are some artists that are really amazing that are even Western artists and still haven't won a Grammy like The Weeknd. I'm sure you guys know how much of a huge artist he is and I don't even know if he's gotten a nomination but I know he hasn't won any Grammys. So I know that this was probably all over the place but that's just my opinion on the scammies. Feel free to leave your comments, your thoughts on the situation below. That's about it. Thank you for watching. If you're an ARMY, don't worry about it. We know BTS is awesome. It doesn't matter if they want a scammy or not make sure to like comment subscribe ring the notification bell and i'll see you in the next video bye